So here at the launch of the new SWPL season, how excited are you to get it underway? Yeah, really excited, um, really looking forward to getting it started. I think there's been a long run up from pre-season. Um, although it doesn't feel like we've had such of a break, I think, yeah, I think we're raring to go, ready, ready to go from the start. Obviously being here today, a lot of media mm -hmm. interest in the yeah. game, it's, it's ever growing if you will. Mm -hmm. As a player, is that, does that excite you as well to see that interest? Yeah, it does. Even from last year's league launch, I was here as well and there's so much more that's came on from here, uh, from last time, sorry, to this time. Um, a lot more cameras and I think that's brilliant for the girls game. I think there needs to be more and more of that coming and I think potentially in time, maybe after the Women's World Cup, that'll happen, definitely. It's expected to be one of the most competitive ever, that's what people are saying yeah. as a player. <laughs> what do you think the season's going to be like? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be even more competitive than what it was last year, and everyone was saying that last year was going to be competitive, but again, it's, I believe that it's going to be even more competitive this year. Just, I think it's going to all narrow down to probably the last couple of games, like, like again, potentially. So, yeah. Obviously, for far, you finished fifth, but very close to fourth. Mm -hmm. um, you know, could have finished the top half of the table. What are your aims and ambitions for this season? I think we're just going to, we're just keeping them the same. Um, we're not going to aim for anything less because I don't believe that's the right thing to do. But if we can get push up, then there's nothing stopping us from doing it. We were able to finish fifth last season, so there's nothing to say that we can't do that again, if not fourth, because it was so tight last year. Um, I generally think that we do have a good run this season. Do you think, obviously, you were the newly promoted side, do you think that now that teams are familiar with the way you play, will that maybe put you at a disadvantage at all? Or will you be able to adapt your game to them, knowing them now? Yeah, I think it could kind of work both ways, but I think with us getting a new manager, and I think that's going to change the, probably a lot of the team dynamics and I think that a lot of the teams won't maybe know how we play or certainly how he plays because it is still ongoing. I think he's going to, I think he's going to change quite a lot and I think it's going to be good for Forfar. In terms of, obviously, you, know, you spoke about the fact that it's going to be competitive. Mm -hmm. You had a run of games where you, know, you won a, quite a few and another yeah. like, string there. What did you put that down to? And do you think you can maybe replicate that to allow Forfar to push on and maybe finish higher on the table? Yeah, I think so. I think last season, the first half of the season was definitely Definitely our best. I feel like for the second half we kind of went downhill a little bit, but I think that we need to go into the mindset that it's a full season, not just a half season up until the break, and continue to focus and just focus on each game as it comes, rather than a season as a like as a whole. And also finally, the last question: You're up against Celtic, first game of yeah. the season away from home. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a tough game, especially given all the talk that about you know, their setup and everything like that. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts going into that match? Our thoughts going into that match, probably just to focus on us, your own individual play as well as a team play. Um, you can't really worry about the opposition. There, there are a lot of talks how they're full time now, but we need to, like, there's two teams within the game, so we need to just focus on ourselves and let the football kind of do the talking.